In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove and install a brand new bedroom fan. So first step is make sure you have turned off the power for your fan at the breaker. Now at this point, I'm gonna remove the fan blades. So if you have a different style fan, then you may have to deal with the glass and the light bulbs first. But in this case, I don't have that. All I gotta do is deal with the fan blades and then get the motor unattached. All right, so I have two screws here that secure the blade to the motor. And that's pretty common on basically all fans. I suggest you work on fan blades that are on opposite sides of each other. That will keep the entire unit balanced. You can see how it can tilt right now because the weight of the blade is pulling it to one side. So that's what I mean about working on opposite blades to start with so that you don't end up with one side that's really heavy. All right, now that the blades are out of the way, I have three screws up here along the top that need to be removed. So what they secure is they secure this piece right here which holds the assembly up here. Cause you can see as I push up on this, what secures it in place is this. All right, with those two loosened, I can now turn it and it can drop down. So I don't have to remove those two fully. I can get to it later. And you see what I mean about there's nothing else holding it up for this particular style. So this is securing it in place. Now, all I need to do is undo the wire nuts because the only thing securing the body of the fan that's holding it to the ceiling at this point is the electrical wire. So next, I just need to remove, we'll call this the base plate. And I got two screws that are holding it up to the ceiling. So I'm just gonna remove those with a drill real fast. And if these stick to the ceiling, just pull them off. All right, that's it. That's removing your old fan. My next step is I need to install an electrical box. So. If you already have electrical box in the ceiling, then you won't have to do this uh, step. But I don't know if this was um, because the house is older, if it was okay by code back in the day where they didn't need an electrical box or if the electrician was just cutting corners and essentially went against code. But to bring it up to code at minimum, I need an electrical box right here. So I'm gonna have to cut the drywall out, put in an electrical box. I bought a pancake style box here, which is gonna mount to the surface of a two by four. And I just need to cut the drywall away big enough to put this four inch box in. And then I can bring my wires in and secure them. And then I can mount my new fan. Okay, so I cut my hole off camera simply because drywall makes a huge mess. Um, but you can see it fits perfectly in there. And now I just need to secure it to the stud. So if you have to go to the store and buy yourself an electrical box, and in this particular case, if you have to buy yourself a, a similar pancake style box like I did, you're probably gonna find two different versions there. You're gonna find the normal one, which is not ceiling fan rated, and you probably might find one like this that comes in a box that says ceiling fan. Um, in this particular case, it's strong enough and has enough hardware to mount it to a stud to be able to withstand the weight of a ceiling fan. Um, for this particular ceiling fan though, mine is not gonna be used to mount it because the bracket doesn't fit it. So my bracket's gonna end up coming here on the outside and it's gonna go into the joist itself. So. Um, in this case, it's really just here for the electrical wire because, of course, it wasn't up to, to code without an electrical box. Um, one of the nice things about this is about a dollar more than the ones that are not rated for a ceiling fan, and it comes with all the hardware to attach it, and it also comes with its own Romex uh, cable clamp. So I'm going to use that and get this up to code. To attach the bracket, they want you to use these three inch long uh, Phillips head screws. I'm gonna end up swapping these out and use some two and a half inch long wood screws simply because, because these are so freaking long, you can't drill a hole that deep and the Phillips heads are actually very prone to stripping for these screws. 
So I'm going to use the star head uh, wood screws instead. Now I am going to use the washers that they give you that they want you to use with their Phillips heads and I'm just going to combine it with my wood screw. Since I've got this tapered head, it'll allow it to have a flatter surface and help hold the bracket better up to the ceiling. Now that my mounting bracket's up, I'm going to need these three pieces. But before I continue on, what I'm going to do is I have my new fan motor right here. These little blocks right here come attached for shipping purposes to protect the motor. They are not uh, part of the installation, so I'm going to remove them now instead of having to remove it once it's up on the ceiling. The screws, however, are part of the installation process. They're, they're going to be used later to secure the fan blades, so set those aside. So my fan comes with several feet of cord. I do not need all this cord because this is meant to be able to go up through a very long uh, hanging rod. And since mine's going to be more or less mounted flush to the ceiling, I only need a few inches. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the cables through here in a second and I'm going to cut them off so that they match the length of the ground cable right here. So if we look on the inside here, we got like a pin that splits it in half. I just want to run these through so that they're all on one side of that. I'm going to pull them all through. And I'm going to screw this into place. Okay, now that's threaded in, I'm going to lock it in place. We're twisting this down. So I'm going to go until it's finger tight. And I'm going to try to take it at least one more full turn. That's about good. All right, it's secure. Now I'm gonna cut my wires. Now again, if you're gonna be mounting yours where it's gonna hang down from the ceiling quite a bit, then you're gonna want more uh, wires left here. But since mine's gonna be right up close, I only need that kind of minimal amount that they tell you to keep, which is about six inches or so. Now let's strip them. I'm gonna strip a little bit more off my ground. There we go. And last of all, slide this one down. And now we're ready to take it up to the ceiling. Yeah, one of the really nice things about this fan and the way it mounts is you don't need two people. So with the old one I took down, you probably more than likely needed two people to be able to wire that one and be able to get it up. Whereas this one, you take it up, and you slide it into the bracket, and set it down, and it holds itself up. And now you can do all your wiring, no one else is required. So this is a one person installation. Hopefully you can see the wires without any issue here. Um, it looks like a big kind of jumbled mess, but this is really quite simple. So what we have going on is we have three different ground wires. We have the one coming in with the Romex. We have the one that was on the uh, mounting bracket and then we have the one that comes up through the fan. So we're just going to take all three of those in time together and that's the two green and the bare copper. And then I've got two white wires, the one from the Romex, the one from the fan, they'll be tied together. And then I got two black and one blue. One black and blue is from the fan and one of the blacks is from the Romex. That's all of your, your hot wires technically. And since I have a single switch that controls the fan, I don't have separate switches for light and fan control. I got the, just the one. All three of mine are gonna be tied together. If you had two switches, then you would tie one your, your blue wire to one and your black wire to another switch. Now that my electrical is hooked up, all I need to do to finish up up here is to take the canopy cover and just take it up to the bracket. We got two openings on it and Gonna stick the screw in and secure it in place. I can now go ahead and attach the fan blades. Before I can attach them though, I do have to do some assembly. So we have a fan blade right here. We have some rubber grommets. What I need to do is push them in through the holes. It doesn't matter which side, they're exactly the same. So 
doesn't matter if you want to work from the front or the back but i do want to get it through to the point where the squared edges are facing through on both sides so right here it does not match this side so i'm going to come to the back push on it a little bit more and just lift up on those edges and now you can see all four pieces or all four like corners we'll say both sides so do that for all three okay just like that now here's my bracket and put it on there flip it over look through the grommets to line up the holes okay take your screw there we go that's one and that's one blade assembled now i get to repeat that four more times all right now i'm going to attach my blades All right, next up I need to install this piece. So what I want to do is we got three holes here. I want to put a screw in this one first and this one. So right here, right here to start with. You got three holes up in here. It doesn't matter which screws go into which hole up in here. You just want to do these two first. I'm only going to screw them in about halfway. Now we're gonna feed the wire through there. Get it up in there, twist it, and let it sit on the screws. Now I'm gonna take my last screw and put it in place. Now I'll go back to those first two and secure them. Now I want to take this part and there's our wire. So we got our plug, we got our plug. We want to match up the colors on the plugs. All right, it might be a little hard to see because the fan blades are probably in the way, but I've got three openings on the outside of the piece I just put in. One, two, three, all right. Same thing on here. I got three screws and we're going to secure this in place. Might have to feed the wires in here in a way that allows you to not pinch them as you put this in place. I'm gonna do the one closest to me so I can see it. All right, in the home stretch here. So we need to put our light bulbs in. My fan came with two light bulbs, but if you don't like that particular uh, color of the light bulb you can obviously just replace it with something else or if yours don't come with it then just buy them all right this needs to come off just unscrew it now we're going to take the glass feed it up oh almost forgot take your pull chain and feed it through there we go now take the glass up. All right, now I need to screw this on. Now you have this little cover plate, and this one is for the fan chain, the center one is for the light chain. So feed them through. And take the piece you removed earlier. And that's it, your fan is fully installed. Just kidding, there's one more piece. So, you got the little decorative pull chains here. Now, of course, you can replace these by, uh, by something else instead. I remember as a kid, I had ones that were like baseball bats and stuff like that. So, the store has all kinds of different versions of these. But, <clears throat> so once you get these hooked on, then you're done. Now, for my fan, I still have several parts left, and that's just because it depends on uh, how exactly you're mounting yours, and if you want the longer hanging rod, then there's some extra pieces involved with that. 
So more than likely, if you're using the same fan, you're probably gonna end up with some extra pieces, or if you have a, a different fan, you're probably also gonna have the same thing happen.